What's up everybody? Today I woke up and I realized it's the third anniversary of the release of my album Cali Native. So I thought it might be cool to go through some of the stems, uh, isolated tracks, and hear the contributions of these incredible musicians. Um, I like to do this sometimes when I need inspiration or just you know want to hear these guys. It almost feels like I'm hanging out with them, which I can't do in person right now. So this is a song called Crawl Space, which is probably the funkiest song on the record and that is because um well i wrote it to be like a straight ahead funk song the whole record is funky it's organ and drums and horns but this one straight ahead funk and there's a good reason for that uh you got zach nager on drums from the gray boy all stars and uh man just listen to his isolated parts and you'll see what i'm talking about Super funky. <laughs> I mean, we cut this to click, so you could loop it. Yeah, it's like a seamless loop. You could listen to this all day. Oh, it's cool too because it's so organic. He plays so locked in, but it's not a drum machine because it, there's so many subtle variations, subtle variations, that little tom fill, little hi-hat variations. You combine that with this, the fact that I have Tommy Arrows playing percussion on it. Listen to what Tommy plays. Killer tambourine part. Tambourine can groove when Tommy plays it. On top of that, Funky cowbell. Let me move this back. Man, you could listen to that all day. Now check this out. Cowbell, tambourine. Congas. Feels really good. Let it keep going. That's into the a different section of the tune. Put the drums back in. That feels delicious. Now check this out. On top of that, how do you make this sound more funky? Mm. That's DJ Williams on guitar. Man. I had met DJ like two weeks before this session and uh, on a gig with Andy Guy, the trombone player, and uh, he sounded so good that I said, Andy, I got to get this guy. Will he do my record? Uh, he, and he said, yeah, he crush it. Uh, give him a call. And so sure enough, two weeks later, he was in the studio cutting all this stuff. And that is so cool. I'm so happy I made that split decision. And uh, man, I miss playing with that guy. Shots fired. Uh, I think he's stuck on the East Coast right now. Uh... So then I played organ, which means I'm playing bass. I mean, this track is definitely not about me. Um, it's about everything else. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I had Zach on drums, and he's got opinions, and you welcome them when they come from someone like Zach, um, who knows what he's talking about. And we were initially going to, this is at 105, and we were initially going to track this at 102, maybe, maybe 103. And Zach was like, you know what, man, I'm not feeling it at this tempo. He's like, and are you doing enough to lay that bass line back to lock in with me? And so he called me out a little bit, which when it's coming from someone you respect, you want to listen to that. And I was happy to hear him say that. So I really strive to, okay, I better lock in. And then in order to make it feel even better, he's like, you know what, can we make it a little bit faster? That's where he wanted to hear it, and sure enough, I mean, it's it's great at this new tempo. So, 
I'm glad. It's nice to have guys that you work with who will say stuff like that when they have ideas. <laughs> And then, of course, the horn section. Let's talk about the horns, which, gosh. On this one, I have five horns. Two trumpets, tenor, trombone, and berry. So fun to write for these guys. You know, they'll play whatever you right for them and do you hear adam schroeder down there on the barry sax i'm so thrilled with his sound on this whole record um my old friend man from from way back it was a good call to have him do this he's such a beast um yeah it was fun writing for five horns uh it's always fun especially when you know that the guys that you write for can play whatever you tell them to <laughs> whoa <laughs> what was i thinking what was this Okay, so there's some stuff going on here. So I think it's sax. Mm. So that line there is like I've got Adam playing Barry and then Robert Doves playing tenor and they're doing its octaves. Ugh, and you know what? They played it. They nailed it. And uh what is what are these guys doing? So Andy is playing some and then the trumpets. It's just some kind of semi patty climbing thing. And it's kind of silly. It's almost like an exercise, but you know, why not have them? And you, when you put that, that on top of this, anything sounds good over that. Let's hear this. Those guys played so dynamically. They brought it to life. It's because they're all amazing. But how it swells there. And Sean, poof, high notes, no problem. Sean Billings on lead. Lead trumpet, that is. And then this first solo. This is Adam on Barry Sax. Maybe my favorite solo from the whole record. He's able to push and pull against the harmony because he's such a master. Uh, he'll play notes that are not in the chord, are, are, are in the chord, or totally out to lunch but they're not out to lunch it's so intentional on his part that everything is just uh, a real statement right what is he doing that those notes shouldn't work but they do because he's doing it so strongly and with such a powerful voice. And now here's DJ. Man, this solo is so cool. He sounds like Hendrix on this. All of these guys, they mix up. Every, it's everything I wanted. Groove, but then jazz sensibility, but the, all to a great... A great combination of the two. And then let's go over, let's hear this last solo. This is Robert. like 
the best mix of jazz and funk, funk feel and sound and tone, but he, uh, the complexity of the ideas, it just, it just fit perfectly, man. Not trying too hard, so I was thrilled. Everybody, man, surprised me a little bit. The way that this sounded, I didn't, it was a little leap of faith with everybody. I didn't know Robert was going to play like that. Didn't know DJ was going to play like that. Um, but it all came together. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then, so that's the head, head out, basically. And listen to that. You can see the waveform, Andy. Dude, he's such one of the strongest trombone sounds in San Diego. Uh, he's so nice to have in there. <laughs> and uh, and then there's Aton is on the second trumpet. So, you know, two trumpets. I, this is Sean and Aton because it's the second day. All these, like, uh, inside lines. Uh, and then the end of these chords, which I didn't write these chords until, I think... A couple hours before the session which meant frantically reprinting parts but i just had this kind of brainwave like you know the song at the end needs a little something extra i used the same chord vamp from the top of the tune and i kind of changed the harmony and then i let tommy loose on percussion and zach love those guys so that's it uh that's crawl space for my album cali native um maybe you've never heard it or maybe you've never checked it out um in which case you should go check it out it's on you know everywhere you can stream it on spotify apple music and google play everywhere that you can stream stuff and uh you know it helps me out when you do that uh album i think it stands up still three years later um definitely fun to listen to this again and hear these guys i feel like again I'm, I'm hanging out with them which is so cool i picture everyone when i solo their tracks i picture each one in my mind there's dj there's tommy there's um zach so uh yeah man i miss them <laughs> uh, maybe we should do another one of these sometime soon and uh well uh maybe we'll do more videos like this if you guys are interested just let me know uh, it'll be fun to crawl through there's seven other tracks each with different combinations of personnel which are really interesting so that's it for now um thanks for watching listening and supporting um, i'll see you guys soon